Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm going to show you today how to go about creating something like this. A mold from a piece that you've made. And I'm going to start out making the piece. And I've just got some um, original Sculpey. This is just the white original Sculpey. And I'm using this because I'm making the piece I'm going to mold. And because I want this super thick. I'm not going to run it through my pasta machine. Right about like that. What is that? A little over a quarter of an inch. Between a quarter and three-eighths of an inch. I'm not going to be creating this actual piece since I already have one. <laughs> I'm going to be creating a sea, an ocean motif, a sea motif, a starfish. So just using your large, whatever size this is, circle cutter. <laughs> it's about a, if I had to guess, about a one and a half inch. But let's see. It is a one and a half inch circle cutter. So just something similar. Um, you can use a pill bottle lid and trace around it with your X-Acto blade or your craft knife. Alright, so I'm going to stick this down to a tile and I'll be right back. Alright, don't worry that we've got fingerprints and smudges and all kinds of stuff on there because it's not going to matter. Alright, so just go along with your thumb and kind of round the edge a little bit. Alright, so we've got that. Now we're going to take the clay that we had left, or a bit more clay, and I'm going to roll it out into a snake. I'm going to set this bit aside for a minute. Now you can use your um, acrylic block or stamping block or just your finger <laughs> we're not looking for any particular length I just want to be able to cut it into five close to equal sizes Alright. It doesn't matter if they're exactly the same. Alright, I'm going to roll the tip down on each one to a, almost a point. About like that.
make them kind of look like dog's teeth. <laughs> it doesn't matter how pointy they are on the end or anything like that. Okay, now we're going to take the opposite end of that and just pinch it. Right, one more time, just pinch it like that. Alright, now taking our circle. We're going to make a star, a star shape, and the points will hang off of the edge at this point. Okay. All right, now here's where I prefer my color shaper. It's got a silicone tip on the end, but you can also use your knitting needle or toothpick, whatever you've got. I could be more on frame, huh? Now, I've shown how to do this starfish before. I was doing a uh, an altered cigar box. Okay. Now, at this point, you're going to want to readjust the legs on your starfish a bit okay give each one of your legs a crease down the middle And yes, I know my nails are long and they do annoy me at times. Just keep working it. Alright. There we go. Now you can take your ball tool. This is a kind of a medium compared to that. And I'm just doing it starting down just a bit. And it's just for texture. You can make it whatever. Whatever shape you want.
Okay. Going all the way around. Now I'll take the smaller end and just kind of fill in. You don't have to do this step. I just think it gives a little bit more detail. Alright, and continue doing that the rest of the way. Alright, for the top, you can make little lines. Whatever makes you happy. Alright, continue doing that. Okay, I couldn't decide at first how I wanted to finish these uh, tips. If I wanted to leave them sticking out, if I want to fold them over the edge. So I figured we'll just try one. Alright, I've got them folded over the edge. not necessarily trying to add texture as much as I am get them stuck down. Alright, we'll take our knitting needle again. back and do the other direction. Alright. Now we can uh, just leave it like this and bake it. Or you can do a little texture. In between. So I'm going to decide on a top. I like that. This being the top. And I'm just going to give it a little bit. A wave. Detail like that. Okay. And then just continue that. And then I'm going to bake. Okay, here it is out of the oven. And what I'm going to use to mold it with 
is some amazing mold putty if I can find where the name of it is amazing mold putty <laughs> all right and this is available at most craft stores um, even online like Joann's online or Michael's online and you can use your half off coupon and get it um, quite a bit cheaper all right it's a one-to-one -one ratio and it's got kind of a mm, a little f like thick pudding almost <laughs> consistency All right, I have another two balls. About yay big. Sorry about that. I probably won't be able to edit that out. <laughs> All right, and this is one of them is the hardener. And I'm not sure which is which. The other part is white. And it's pretty, um, it's pretty non-stick. In other words, it doesn't stick to your hands or anything like that. Alright. And you just need to get them close to the same size. All right, and then you're going to mix it. I believe it says for one minute. You want to mix it until it's mixed, until the white and the yellow make one yellow color. And this literally is so quick, there's no reason to pause and come back. But you do have to work quick because it will start to set up. Alright, we've got our piece. And what you want to do is you want to try to pick an area that doesn't have a fold like that so try to choose the other side and you want to kind of roll it over the item that I'm going to get it too thin on the bottom. Alright, so you really don't have a lot of work time. Your work time, it says, is two to three minutes. Alright, you can turn it over. <clears throat> kind of do a check just to make sure that it filled in it doesn't necessarily have to fill in completely because those will be hidden behind some more polymer clay all right and then we'll just let this set for about 20 minutes before we unmold it and I'll be back all right here it is after it has set and I should have said that you could have uh, 
done this on anything, a sheet of foil, a sheet of wax paper. I just happened to have had my glass sitting there. Alright, then we're just going to start to work it away. Now, one of the things I will tell you is don't um, don't get distracted or forget <laughs> and leave this set before you unmold it because eventually they'll start to have a reaction with each other after they set too long. So there it is. Isn't that cool? I got one little thin spot right there. But that's not too bad. Especially for as thick of a piece as this has come out to be. Alright. So now I've got a mold. And I've still got the original. So this is a piece I've been working on. Alright, so now I've got one to use in my project and a mold to make many more. So, I hope, uh, I hope that helps and I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.